Hi, I'm Lou Paolo, and I'm here at Guitar World to talk about my new signature guitar, but made by Gibson Corporation, and also to talk about my new CD project, which we are working on at present, and uh, it will be on DVD, a documentary. All thank you to Les Paul and my influences, of course. Uh, when I was young, my first uh, influence was Les Paul and Tony Matola, and between the two. Um, after meeting both, I ended up working with Les Paul for 26 years in New York and many years before that in New Jersey. I went into the Air Force for four years and I played with uh, the Thompson Blue Show for a while. Um, and with Jerry Van Dyke, he was Dick Van Dyke's brother, he was the MC on the show and I played in the band. And that was an easy four years. <laughs> and of course you get ranked pretty high, fast, and I should have stayed in the service because I would have been retired. And after the service, um, came back out and then I started playing with different groups um, uh, on the road. And let's see, I've worked with, uh, with Sammy Davis Jr. for a week. I worked with uh, Vic Damone a little bit. Um, so many different names out there in those days. Al Martino, um, Lou Monti, if you remember all these names, Lou Monti. All these different acts, even Jane Mansfield. At the 500 Club in Atlantic City, we were there for like two years with the band and played behind all these different artists. And it was a great pleasure playing behind. And I always said that Sammy Davis Jr. was the greatest entertainer I've ever worked with. Entertainer. Not guitar player or anything like that, but all around tap dancing, impersonations, singing, everything. He did everything. He was great. And then I had the opportunity of working with Nat King Cole, who I thought was the, one of the greatest singers I ever heard. And this is all in the 60s, 1962, 63, 64. And, but as you get older and as you go through the years, there are other people who come into view and like Frank Sinatra you can't be Frank Sinatra and singing um, uh, there's so many Ella Fitzgerald as far as uh, no one could be an Ella Fitzgerald scat like Ella Fitzgerald they try but they can't Les was in retirement at that time and uh, he would come out where I was working, I was working at a place called Molly's Fish Market, and he would stop in, oh, in the beginning, once a week, and at the very end of that gig, which was 1983, 84, he came in 86 times, it's in his book, into Molly's Fish Market. He would come in, let's say, on a Tuesday, on a Thursday, maybe a Saturday, bring his guitar, plug into my Fender Twin I had back here, and just be the two of us playing, and he would just love playing. He said, let's, he said, oh, I'd really like to get back into it, and let's go to New York and find a job in New York, and we found Fat Tuesdays. And we worked Fat Tuesdays for 12 years with Gary Maserati on bass, and that was a thrill because I think every rock and roll musician stopped in to see Les, and actors and actresses and uh, uh, comedians, Henny Youngman, Jackie Mason, you name them, they were all stopped in. Penn and Teller would stop in, and um, that's how I got to meet a lot of uh, different stars in those days, and I also met Keith Richards. Well, I met him, let's see, on, on one of the nights, uh, Monday night, of course, we were working there. And Keith gave me his phone number and says, call me, I'd like you to come up to the house. I went up to Keith's house, and before you know it, we were recording. And we started recording CD after CD after CD, and we recorded um, Timeless, it was called. And You Win Again is the song that won a Grammy in 2001. 2001. And that was an, an honor to play that with Keith Richards. Big honor. And what a sweetheart of a guy, and what a great musician, a great musician. I think the Stones are one of the greatest rock and roll bands ever, as far as I'm concerned. Not because I know Keith. I've heard them all. I, I know Metallica. I know 
Richie Sambor, I know Bon Jovi and all them, and, but the Stones, I guess it's the years of being an old man like myself, I guess they're getting close to my age and they have that, that maturity, but they are great, they are great.